Welcome back. For Gus Kenworthy's here, for most athletes, competing in the Olympics is the highlight of their lives. Then, for the most part, we really don't hear from them much publicly. But for a select few, it's a launching pad for a larger career in the spotlight. Gus Kenworthy is one of those athletes. In 2014, he won the silver medal for slope style skiing. In 2015, he came out of the closet as a gay man. And this year, he became the first openly gay athlete skiing uh, when he competed in the Olympics in South Korea. Since the Olympics, he's developed a huge online audience. He's traveling the world doing modeling work for HMM and an activist for the gay rights movement. Gus Kenworthy, welcome back to Good Day LA. Yeah, Good thanks to for see having you. Me. Thanks so much it. for being here. So talk about this journey since even we've seen you a few months ago. You've just been everywhere. Yeah, it's been pretty nonstop. I mean, the Olympics was amazing. And, and, and as you kind of said, I think that that tends to be the end of a lot of people's like heightened profile until four years later when they're competing again. And for me, I feel like the Olympics was incredible. And I feel very proud of the silver medal from 2014. But I really feel like all that it was was just me having a chance to have a platform to to be out and to be an advocate for the LGBT community and just be able to be a positive representative for that community and just show kids that um, being gay doesn't stop you from anything, doesn't keep you from sports or, or, or anything else in your life. And, and you've been on this journey in large part also with Adam Rippon, also an openly gay Olympian as yeah. well. You guys have done a lot of things together. Uh, you, you were at the GLAAD Awards where you kissed, you had uh, the Out uh, magazine, you did a photo shoot together, you hosted the Trevor Project together. Um, this is, I think, some of that Out magazine um, uh, campaign, and this was the, the GLAAD Awards here. Um, what has that friendship meant to you? What has that relationship meant to you? Uh, it's honestly meant the world to me. Like, I sometimes think, like, oh my god, imagine if Adam and I, like, hated each other when we met each other, and it would have just sucked, because we were going into the Winter Olympics as, like, the two first openly gay U.S. males competing there, and, and it was kind of, like, I guess a heavy title to have, because it's, like, in a way, it seems so crazy that that hasn't happened yet, and at the same time, we both want to do such a good job with it, and it just made it so much easier that we just, like, completely clicked. We connected um, over <laughs> RuPaul's Drag Race when we were waiting to walk in the opening ceremonies, which is like Emmy nom. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think like we just became really fast friends. I think we have kind of very different um, like backstories and, and sort of like coming out experiences and, and experiences in sport, but at the same time, like we can totally relate with one another and uh, empathize with what the other person's gone through and, and now we're on sort of like a similar path so it's it's good to have someone there. I'm glad RuPaul brought you together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's talk for a moment. But Adam's not your boyfriend even though you kissed in that, that one yeah, thing. Yeah, Adam's um, not my boyfriend. You had this, this very uh, public kiss with your boyfriend during the Olympics this year. Uh, this was a screenshot from that moment which was beamed all around the world. Uh, but for you that, there was a really important message behind this. Yeah, well, actually, I wanted to come out in 2014. I had this, like, big idea that I was going to kiss my boyfriend at the bottom of the competition, and that would be, like, my coming out to the world, including my parents and everything. And I just didn't do it, and then proceeded to basically lie in all the interviews after because our event was February 13th, the next day was Valentine's Day, and all I wanted to know was, like, who's your celebrity crush? Who do you like? Like, what's your type of girl? What's your ideal date? And I was just lying, and I felt so ashamed about myself. And in, in some part, it kind of, like, ended up being the demise of that relationship and moving forward I just was like I'm never gonna be in that position again I just want to be myself and like kissing my boyfriend now is so not a big deal and like such an everyday part of life but at the Olympics so what's different. your message to all the kids that you see around the world I think my message is just inclusion and love and I think it's so important to be able to see visual representation of yourself whether it's like on screen in shows or in sports or anywhere really so I hope that that kiss was able to, to show people that it's okay. Are you retired from skiing? I don't totally know. I think I might do a couple of events next year, but I think I'm definitely like not planning to compete as much as I have been. And then you never know, like maybe four years from now, I'll be making a push. And last time you were here, you talked about that you wanted to potentially go into entertainment or at least entertainment reporting, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of do what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's, give talk, me your job. let's talk about that today. <laughs> so we've got Emmy nominations today. Yeah. Favorite shows? Besides uh, RuPaul. I'm, RuPaul's Drag Race actually is my favorite show, which I'm hoping wins best competition. But actually, I was in a reality competition show called The Ultimate Expedition, which is also up for an Emmy nomination. Um, so I'm rooting for them. But I loved um, Barry on HBO. I think that was like a really great show. I loved Handmaid's Tale. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. And any favorite movies? 
My favorite movie is Mean Girls, which is not going to be up for an Emmy nom or any <laughs> nominations because it's old, but it's the best. Might be up for a Tony. Exactly. Yes, because on real. Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank Thanks you so much. So